Hello to all of my fellow Tigers. I know that right now things are feeling uncertain, but I wanted to reach out with some support, a couple of thoughts, and plans for going forward. This room should be filled with students right now. I don't like it, and I know you don't either. COVID-19 is hitting us right at home. And by home, I mean RIT locations in China, Croatia, Dubai, Kosovo, and right here in the Rochester area. We've all had to completely readjust and recalibrate from what would have been and should have been a normal semester of discovery, study, travel, events, and even commencement. To our seniors and their families, we understand that commencement is perhaps the most cherished occasion in the life of the university. It was a heartbreaking decision to cancel it. The university will work hard to find a way to celebrate the class of 2020 at a later date when medical experts say it's safe to do so. While we may not have all of the answers, I'll tell you what we do have. We have resolve. We've made it our mission to confront, address, and mitigate issues as they arise in this most fluid of situations. I will be back in a moment, but let me first turn it over to Provost Ellen Granberg to talk about your academic success and what comes next. Hello. As we all cope with this very serious situation, I know it can feel like everything has changed. But there is one thing that hasn't. Students will always be our first priority at RIT. With that in mind, let me tell you what actions we've taken to ease the burden on your coursework as we move into alternative modes of learning. When it comes to your grades, we understand the online environment may not be ideal for everyone, and it may impact how you engage with and complete your courses. Many of you are also dealing with family and home life issues outside of class that can make it hard to focus. Because of this, we've extended the course withdrawal date to the last day of classes to give you extra flexibility. And to minimize the potential impact of this situation on your GPA, we're giving students the opportunity to select a credit, no credit, or pass fail grading rubric for this semester. RIT will also continue to provide resources such as tutoring, disability services, and access support for those who need them. And now there's something I need all of you to do, and I can't stress this enough. Please be sure to read all RIT emails. Seriously, they contain information that is critical to your academic success. So until we are together again, stay informed, stay safe, and especially stay healthy. It's not easy to think of what the silver lining might be during trying times like these, and it could be construed as downplaying the issue to even offer one up. But that's not the case here, because as I continue to work with the RIT family, students, parents, our great faculty and staff, as well as our alumni and the Rochester community, I see one worth sharing. This is a time that requires us to collectively innovate, problem solve, and collaborate our way toward the solutions that will lead us beyond all of this. Everything at the heart of what RIT students represent. There is no doubt that when this ends, RIT will come out stronger than ever. A community redefined and energized as one. And someday very soon, I hope to be sitting in this room again with many of you.